New developments now on a proposal to legalize marijuana in Rhode Island. Both the Senate and the House will consider bills this week that would lift the ban on the drug and start taxing it. New at 6, what effect the change could have on crime? Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum joins us now with more. If Rhode Island were to legalize marijuana, they would join Alaska, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, and D.C. as the only places in the country where you could legally smoke. This 47-page bill outlines how Rhode Island would tax and regulate marijuana. The state has already okayed marijuana to be smoked for medical purposes. This would open the floor for anyone over the age of 21 to legally smoke. If you're going to capitalize on the revenue potential of the bill, you should be first in the Northeast. State Senator Joshua Miller is sponsoring the bill in his chamber. He submitted the legislation last week. The House version is planned to be introduced either today or tomorrow. We have an illicit market uh, right now for marijuana, which causes a lot of public safety problems. And it'd be much better to bring marijuana above ground in a regulated system so that we can tax it, we can hold those businesses accountable, and they can work with communities rather than being a nuisance for communities. What do you say to the everyday Rhode Islander who goes, look, all you're doing is you're trying to legalize a recreational drug that could be also seen as a gateway drug. It's not a gateway drug. It's been proven it's not a gateway drug. Most Rhode Islanders support it. That's been proven in polls for the last few years. And on the police side of this debate, the Providence Public Safety Commissioner says he's against legalization, saying more young people would smoke and they'd have a harder time detecting DUIs. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.